When I was in the seventh grade, my best friend Steve Gray said that we should go to East Texas State University and from that time on I always thought I was going to East Texas State University. He and I were best friends from fourth grade all the way until uh, he passed a couple years ago but you know I can just never be thankful enough to him and his family for uh, you know helping me you know thinking about East Texas State and, and going there because it was the best experience I've ever had you know the best four years experience I could ever have cumulatively. From my business, I'm a lobbyist, and so as a lobbyist, you have to learn how to interact with folks, understand group and social dynamics, um, and then you have to understand something about political organizing. At Texas A&M, one of my professors, Dr. Larry Clinton, he was talking about political power and about uh, uh, minorities in the political process, and he unbeknownst to him, kind of put out a challenge to me. He may he get used the example of a young lady, African American, who was elected homecoming queen my freshman year in college, primarily because all the white students had split their vote among uh, other uh, white candidates. You know, I took it as a challenge to show that we could rec replicate that because we did have a fair number of uh, African American students at uh, East Texas State University, and I was head of the NAACP at the time, and so I went to each fraternity and sorority and asked them to nominate a young lady who would be Miss NAACP. We had a Miss NAACP pageant, and it was we held the pageant the night before it was time to go vote, go vote for homecoming queen. We elected a young lady uh, who was a, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. She was elected Miss NAACP, and the next morning we went out and block voted for her, and she was elected homecoming queen. And on Monday morning when I got to class in Dr. Clinton's class, I explained to him how relating to his principles of a small group of people, how if they organize and band together, they could uh, wield a certain amount of political power. That sort of started me on the, on the path of learning how to organize groups and organizations and how to go and persuade folks. From there, I've gone on and I've worked as a political consultant. Uh, I've helped Ann Richards get elected governor. I was her political director. And so going from uh, being a, uh, working as a political consultant to uh, being a lobbyist, uh, being able to organize um, issues and uh, uh, shepherd those issues through the political process here at the Texas Legislature. I always look back to that day when uh, at East Texas State when I was in that class and taking on that sort of project. I'd like to thank the university for uh, selecting me for this award. It's a very distinguished award, something that um, I'm really excited about, something that I will always treasure uh, because the university is very special to me.